uh we got some more fun stuff coming up we got uh vice went and met up with the pickup artist from channel five and did a whole ass video what with she them. wants is the demonstration of the masculine at its purest i noticed you have a cell phone you can just stand normal <laughs> i noticed you have a cell phone <laughs> uh you know something not many have well for now although this is really cool how do you avoid like getting like slapped in the face or something, you know, if you take it too far? Coming so hard! That's the kill oh. today. You're a weirdo. This is unacceptable. What kind of- Oh my god, he literally turned into one of them. I didn't even notice who the dude was. That's like the dude that kind of looks like a young Ethan Klein. He, that's the vice guy, chat. For those of you who don't know. Behavior is this. You guys are weirdos. Soul, heart. Guts, Water, guts and guts. balls. Do you guys like Jello, by the way? Yes. Yep. Nice. In previous episodes, I've learned the value of companionship and communication. Ouch, goddess. I now feel confident being someone's partner. However, when it comes to seduction, my battle is still at large. I'm gonna sign up for a seduction boot camp. Hassle. So in order to learn the art of seduction, I'm heading to a seduction boot camp hosted by seduction guru, Vince Hop I met these guys when I went to the Channel 5 like merch uh, shoot. Hollywood Kelvin. According to his website, Vince is the number one undisputed authority in the seduction community. Let's uh, go and seduce some women. What do you get when you mix 53 years, five marriages, and one pink mohawk? Well, you get Vince Kelvin. This one here is pounding pussy since forever. Sure, he may have looked a little unusual, but upon meeting him, Vince knew just what to say to a nervous John, student like so much. The funny thing is like, this is how chat thinks. This is how my haters think I dress and look and carry myself. Like it's become such a meme. Like the way I fucking dress up has become just such a cool fucking thing. meme at this point that like, I will literally just wear like a regular black t-shirt. And people will still be like, dude, you dress up like a fucking groomer, like who's trying to infiltrate a TikTok hype house, which was actually a pretty good joke. Dress like a pirate, huh, John? Me. You got again, peacocking different flavors, same idea. It's, I'm not, I'm not like. Good fashion already. Thank you so Let much. The back. Yeah. Thank you. Also, this boot camp was no private lesson. My fellow students included Akash. I would say I'm totally insecure. And Stanley. I am Stan the man. One teacher, three students, one mission. To learn how to seduce women. The art of seduction was not something I had ever practiced before. So I asked my fellow students for techniques that help pump them up and get them in the zone. Let's have a laugh. <laughs> 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 uh, I like to sing, actually. Now, I was ready to receive the seduction gospel from the master himself. It's the easiest thing for a woman to get free drinks and lodging. Totally. Right? Yeah. His lesson covered a wide range of topics, including how we should view women. It's a living organism that we're dealing with. What we should say to them. Start with what's of interest to you and what's of interest to women, oftentimes fashion. How to handle rejection. What aim should be, I spoke to. Why are these the same dudes at another boot camp? Dude, Channel 5 went to the same boot camp. And Vice went to the same exact boot camp. Okay, that's what they're doing. Calm down. Not the same video. 20 girls today, all of them stayed silent. Wow. 
20 women with bad taste. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the peculiar phenomenon of aging inside of a corporeal form. See, we never escaped our body. We don't go for a while like, okay, you're gonna be 10 years old now. I'm gonna take you to this different planet for a little bit. You're gonna reassess and then you're gonna come back as, you know, a young adult, mm. right? And it was all rounded off with unique participatory exercises. Because why are we asking all of these? Even, even softer. You can only go one place in the world and you need to pick fast. You can pick fast. A little bit louder. Okay? A little bit louder. Everybody, soul, heart, guts, and balls. And now, much louder, much louder. Soul, heart, Guts and, and balls. balls. Oh my God, across the street, a baby. It's oh, crossing the street. Yeah. Lady, oh, your hey, baby. Your baby. Your baby, yo. Oh, okay. So little exercises like that. You can only learn so much from sitting inside of a classroom. The hat in front, what a splendid idea. Yeah, it's a black hat. So we headed out to the park to role play some seduction techniques. And right when we got outside, I instantly realized what a seduction guru Vince really is. Officially the coolest mask I have seen yet today. But I just came out. Who are you? Here. Who am I? I'm the guy you're hanging out with a little bit later on tonight. But we're not supposed to say it until I figure out whether or not you're a married woman. That was funny. You hadn't left for like a total of like 10 seconds and he already started talking to a woman. That was kind of crazy. Right? It's almost. It's just like if this guy was I don't know what to say about it. It's just like you're literally just fucking harassing women. Sure like that's it. There. The ultimate thing is like all these pickup artists basically fucking end up telling you is that it's a numbers game and you just got to fucking keep failing. The problem is they don't respect women <laughs> and they fail in like really annoying and cringe ways okay okay just like the ultimate goal of a diet is calories in calories out well, it's like he planted right. that no <laughs> i'm sure he didn't not everyone has women thrown at them dude shut the fuck up dude i mean just converse with women like a normal human being. I also believe that you can get better at talking to people and overcome your social anxiety by just doing it. Okay? That's the point. You just do it over and over and over again. And you slowly but surely start overcoming your fucking fears and you no longer come across like a fucking weirdo. Because you get confident. That was crazy though. That was a quick one. Avoid the baby step approach. This is my volume usually. Do the opposite. Start to talk right away. Three, two, one, talk. And we're talking right now. And I don't know right. what to say. Does it make sense to you? Does it, does it make, does it make sense to you as well? Does it? Okay. Harass respectfully. That's a self-report if you think that like every conversation that you're having with another random person is automatically harassment. You might just be like a fucking shitty person that no one wants to be around. I'm sorry. Okay, it makes sense. So from being involved in this process with Vince, what would you say your end goal is? My end goal would be to just rely on my inner source for my own good. And knowing how to be attractive to women is a good skill as well. Okay, that's the fastest I can do it. Okay? But I certainly can do it faster and higher than this. So it's an illusion. I think it's really important for men to express themselves in this way. That outfit, oh my god. The way that uh, a, a pretty girl gets her makeup on and, and just gets attention from guys, well, guys need that kind of like similar way. And the way we do it is a little bit different than women. For us, it's more expressing ourselves and expressing that deep masculine desire of wanting to connect with the feminine. Totally. It absolutely, totally, completely makes sense. Your turn! Yeah. More motion, more motion! 
More motion! Next, it was time to put these techniques to practice in the real world. I was excited to apply what I'd learned so far, but Vince was hard to keep up with. You guys want to play the smile game with me? Then Stanley and I saw two ladies that piqued our interest. But when we caught up to them, someone had gotten there first. So I just gave him a compliment instead. Like that skateboard, man. In fact, it seemed like we were only comfortable with talking to men. Bro, what the fuck? Why are you following them, dude? Don't follow women, dude. Don't do that. That's... It's oh my cool God. bandana, man. Thank you. Yeah, gotta live it up. Or to inanimate objects. Nice car, man. After a series of failed attempts, Vince clearly wasn't happy with how we were performing. So we headed to the beach for some tough love. Make a line up here. You came here for a reason, right? Yeah. And what we're gonna do right now to remind you of that, you're gonna do some push-ups. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16. Now that we had more confidence and blood in our veins, we resumed our prowl. Have you considered wearing brighter outfits before? These ones are looking a little dull, I don't know. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. You guys, amazing outfits. That's all I wanted to say. Amazing. You guys from around here? Hey, you look so athletic. Would you care to have a race with me by any chance? Well, it's cool. I notice you have a cell phone. Look what I have. A cell phone? Yeah. Is yours also of the Apple brand? It is. Nice. Do you like it? Uh, it's okay. Thank you for not polluting the beach. We love you. I just couldn't happen but notice you were readjusting your shoes. I got sand in my shoes. Okay, this dude is too good. Like, he's too good at... at I can't tell if he's joking. Convincingly being this way. It's like... I kind of hate that. Nine months. Now you officially can't abort. Like he knows he's Take like, he's doing cringe on purpose, but he's like a little too good on. at being cringe on purpose. You know what I mean? He's earlier too. It's like kind of my least favorite part about the beach. I don't know about you guys. It's kind of rough, right? I noticed you got dyed hair too, and you as well. Me three. We will see you hopefully at some point again. Hopefully our, our pads will meet again. Even after the inspirational workout session, I still wasn't having much luck. Cool bikes, it's all good. Thanks. <laughs> Enjoy, have an awesome ride. I was failing. Maybe your punchlines aren't good. While my fellow students were succeeding. You ever read a book called Charlotte's Web? <laughs> Maybe if I could understand Vince's teachings on a deeper level, it would unlock something in me, and my inner seducer could finally be released. So what exactly is it that you do, Vince? Simple. I help men of all ages in all possible situations to uncover more options, more possibilities, and feel more capable and deserving. So I think that the benefits are way beyond just doing better with women. It's really about how am I managing myself? Am I stressing myself too much, comparing myself with others all the time? Am I sweating it? Am I overly invested? It's easy to want something so much that we no longer own it, but it owns us. That girl grabbed my attention over there, tattooed girl, sorry. It's easy to think that others are more confident when all of it has to do with false notion of self. They're unaware of just how valuable they are right here and right now. So what we do, we correct it at the core. We get them to realize that there's more abundance than they know. With how strange the art of seduction can feel at times, I do have- <laughs> That literally wasn't bad advice. a cell phone i was surprised at the humanity in vince's pitch not surprisingly he used to work as a hypnotist 
and he figured that some of his old techniques could turn us into seduction experts. Now nah, we're gonna good advice implemented is harass a lot of women, Lamont. Yeah, no, he's. I'm just saying, like, what he was saying about like people being insecure and not recognizing how valuable they are, like all of that shit is true. Um. But I guess, like, in order to be at Your least, dad, like, here is a tip to talk low to level women. scam artist, like, you gotta understand do that forehead, human beings at least forehead, a little bit, right? Forehead, just do it forehead. You gotta have somewhat of an understanding. He has, like, good advice in between a sea of horrifyingly bad advice. I'm gonna begin to time travel just a touch. Imagine that somewhere, somehow, you're connecting with the you from the future that has found the most fulfilling combination when it comes to love, sex, and romance. And now from that future rendition of you, what would that future rendition of you tell you today? Would it tell you, wake up, embrace it now, it's a gift. Joe Biden. You no longer have to prove yourself. more free are you right now right now right now right now it's night time so let's make it count let's make it count let's make it count give up on women is much easier that way dude oh my god i have like actually fucking hella incels in here dude Dang already nine months hassle. Why are you like this, bro? I mean, maybe you should give up on women if that's like what you think. You know what I mean? Good. Get comfortable. You stopped us. Okay. So good. And then address all three. The funny thing is, I'm not even from Miami, but you know, I could be a pretty good tour guide. There, don't wait for us to give you a response. If we say nothing, just yeah. kidding. But I bet you guys are from Miami, right? Uh, not really. Okay, well. You I'm should sure. be. Well, you should be, because you guys are fitting in great here. Smile and continue. Funny thing, huh? Even if we don't say anything, think that it's our problem, not yours. Totally. At night, it's a silly dynamic. It's very synthetic. So don't be fooled by it. Because very rapidly, you can be under a, the false impression if a couple people are a little louder and two beauties pass by, oh. that the whole world is having a good Inside of you are two wolves. The one who harasses and sexualizes women, the one who hates them all together. Wait, these are the same wolves. Bye-bye, incels time but you and that's not the case are there like fun icebreakers like for example i guess like i happen to like jello a lot if i was like you know like so do you guys like jello i would i would tweak them question of the night hey we have a question of the night all right you go come on give me a good drum roll all right all right you guys ready jello yes or no jello yes yes or no. Yes. Whatever appears to be a reason not to talk, that becomes your reason to talk. So for example, who's a little tired maybe tonight? I'm starting to be a little tired. What's the next question? I'm so sorry. I'm just kind of falling asleep. Do you guys have any like advice for just like, you know, waking up for the night, you know, and. Maybe you play with it, you go, that's it. You have hypnotized me. I'm sorry. I just got a little hypnotized by you guys. I'm sorry. What else could be a reason not to talk? I don't know what to say. That's it, perfect. Have you guys ever been in the situation where you just don't know what to say? Yes, yeah, totally. dude, all the time, I feel you. If you're talking to her and she's like, keeps on looking like her Uber is coming, you gotta be aware of that. So maybe you accelerate. Oh, oh my God. Or you just let them get in their fucking Uber, dog. What the fuck? You physically put yourself in front of the Uber and you'll make them not get in to the Uber.
because one thing women love is not feeling safe. Nothing gets a woman more excited like not feeling safe and not being able to go to the next location away from you. Is your Uber on the way? Yeah. Well, then I guess you could just put your number in really quick. I cannot do that. Oh, that's okay. Oh, you have a boyfriend? That's awesome. I'm so happy for you. That's. Oh my God, dude. He's like, oh, you have a boyfriend? That's awesome. Real? I'm not trying to murder you, by the way. I'm just trying to get your phone number so I can see where you live. So cool. Well, you enjoy, and uh, I'm glad you're such a good girlfriend. I was starting to spiral. I kept trying out Vince's tips for success, but they wouldn't work for me. Do you guys like Jello, by the way? Yeah. Yep. Nice. Dude, isn't Jello what Bill Cosby used to use? Jello pudding? Me too. Have you guys ever like been in a situation you just don't know what to say? You guys hypnotized me! <laughs> then I was reminded of something that Vince had told me earlier in the day. It's important, I think, to embrace being more genuine. The road to really being able to express genuine fulfillment with those beautiful creatures, women, is being willing to be a little more vulnerable, open your heart, and so on. Nothing else had worked so far, so I figured I would just try to be myself. With Vince's words echoing in my mind, I gave this pickup thing one last chance. Hey, uh, may I have your boarding pass? And then you can board the, the aircraft. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually like filming this thing about pickup artists but I'm having a rough time tapping into it. You got this. I can feel that you're getting yes. into it. Cool. Okay. So at this point, I'm kind of just being honest, I guess. I'm trying that one out. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Do that. Did you guys have a cell phone? Could I put my number in there, possibly? Oh, there you go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, you could save it as yellow. Because I'm wearing yellow. Um, oh, my God. We have so much in common. This is crazy. Holy shit. But, um, it was so nice chatting with you. Bro, he literally just used clout. 11, let's go. That is literally a cheat code, okay? Says me, by the way. I use clout as a cheat code as well. But, you know. This is so exciting. Oh my god. Oh my god. We, I didn't even notice. Well, I'm like. Have you been eating for like two hours straight? I'm not even eating right now. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm chewing gum. Like, so hypnotized, I did not even notice. Well, I did it. I got a girl's number, and I was on cloud nine. While I do think that some of these seduction tactics can be used in manipulative ways, I was starting to see. Maybe this whole thing is a symptom of loneliness and bullshit. You literally take girls out the one second one started looking you up. You met full. And so what? Used as just a way to connect with others. It's a desire we all have. And for these guys, it seemed like this was the best way to do it. People just want to authentically relate with one another. And I understand that girls and, and women are people too, you know? Like, we all just want that, like, connection. Well, maybe Akash was on his own journey. This is all about self-relation. You know, if, like, if someone says you're a weirdo or something like that, well, who is this person? Whatever these guys were here for, I hope this weekend brought them closer to finding it. I don't know, I guess. Please have sex, you relate too much to incels now? Wait, what do you mean? No, I don't. You in the line for deaths? Yeah, but uh, no, I'm not going inside. Okay. It was just about time for me to leave this world of seduction behind. But before I went on my way, Stanley left me with the gift of a poem. Sometimes I uh, can like free flow poetry. Would you be down to try one out? Yeah. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Hell yeah. All right. 
Beneath the shadows in your mind, behold so much more. Sort of got caught in the out of context trap like you? What is that? It's a lot of black people. Um, why? What, like is that on LSF or something?